Raise your hand if you remember how to make a square. I'm Lisa Wenzel. I'm a technology teacher at Deep Run Elementary School. I've been in the county for about 10 years now in this position, and it's the most amazing job in the world. All right, get logged in and make some squares. Today we're coding. We're using pencil code to create drawings. The students are going to be learning about angles and the coordinate plane in order to do that. And that's part of their fourth grade math curriculum. I'm seeing a lot of you with syntax, you have to make sure that you leave a space between your command and your variable. They'll be working on their own today, but they're always welcome to ask for help. Our routine in our classroom is to first look around the room for answers, because I provide lots of visuals, and then to ask a friend, and then they can ask a computer expert, and that is sometimes me, and sometimes it's another student in the classroom. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Coding makes so many connections to the curriculum. There's the tangible objectives like learning math and geometry, and there's also all of those other things that happen like applying rigor to a situation, problem solving, collaborating, following directions. All of those things happen in the coding environment. And the fact that the students don't get the answers right away and they have to keep trying is a really important career and college ready skill. And then your do frog is inside your function. You have to make it out. You have to undent that. Oh, they get so excited the first time they code. They push a button and they watch the instructions that they wrote actually make something happen. So that's very empowering to them. I think they just really understand the fact that what they're doing is what makes their whole world work. So they see a purpose for it. They realize that if they learn math, they can come get a job as a coder or a computer programmer, and they have to apply all those math skills. So I think that's the power of it. This square is 25, and I know this square is 25. That makes 50. So that makes 50. We work on so many projects with our teachers in this school. Every single lesson that we teach is aligned directly to their curriculum. These are the magic symbols you need. Watch very carefully. Collaboration happens in a lot of different forms. Sometimes a teacher will come to us, like for example in this project, where they see it in their curriculum that they have to teach coding to integrate geometry into their math lesson and they, they'll just come to us and ask us to do it. A lot of times teachers are intimidated by the fact that they don't know coding. So they'll come in my room and they'll see what I'm doing and they'll be like, oh, I'm glad you're doing that, Ms. Wenzel, because I don't know anything about coding but um, I try to explain to them that it's okay not to know anything about it and to just start small. A lot of times the kids don't want you to know. You just give them the basics and they'll figure out how to do it on their own and they want that. They don't want you to suck all the fun out of their learning. Show me the magic code that made that turn into a window. One of the biggest coding skills that I teach them is to work on incremental designs so that you start off with something really simple and once you get that working, to build on that and create the next layer. I found in the past that whenever they have these great ideas, they have a really hard time like breaking them down into smaller pieces. And that's a really important skill for computer programming, but it's also a really important skill for any task that you work on. Go ahead and run it. My favorite part about working with kids in technology is the fact that I am constantly learning. Technology's changed so much over the past 20 years that I can never do the same thing twice. I'm constantly learning a new application or there's an update to Microsoft Word and I have to relearn it. So it's a constant learning experience for me and I think that's one of my favorite things.